Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third. And in this, it is given that D, E, F are the midpoints of the side A, B, B, C, and C, A respectively of an isosceles triangle A, B, C. And you have to prove that triangle D, E, F is a is also a isosceles triangle. It is given that A, B, C is an isosceles triangle, and we know that. Isosceles is a triangle whose two sides are equal. So AB is equal to AC. This is because ABC is an isosceles triangle, and you have to prove that this triangle, which is DEF, is also a isosceles triangle. And to prove that DEF is an isosceles triangle, what we have to prove it that any two sides of this triangle are also equal. And for that, again we have to use midpoint theorem. First of all, we know that AB is equal to AC. This is our first equation. And EF should be equal to half of AB. This is because, according to midpoint theorem, if we join the midpoint of any two sides in a triangle, so this line should be parallel to this third line, and this should be equal to half of this line. So, if or clearly F and E are the midpoints of these two sides, and if we join them, so this should be equal to half of this. So, this is what I have written here. This is because mid Point theorem, and similarly, DE again should be equal to half of AC. This is again because of midpoint theorem, and we know that from the first equation that AB is equal to AC. So if AB and AC are equal. So clearly, its half also should be equal. So half of AB and half of AC must be equal. So this is second equation. This is third equation. The first equation again can be written as if AB and AC are equal. So clearly, half of AB, AC, and half of AB should also be equal. Or you can say if I divide this equation by two, so the equation will become. Half AB. This is half AC. So this is our fourth equation. So this and this are equal, or you can say in these equations, right hands are equal. So if the right hands are equal, so clearly left hands also be equal. So we can say that from equation second, third, and fourth, EF must be equals to DE. And if in a triangle, if two sides are equal, so clearly triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle. This is because this side and this side is is equal in this triangle, so this should be the isosceles triangle. So this is how we can solve this. In other words. If you are not able to do this, you can understand it by if ABC is an isosceles triangle means if two sides of triangle ABC are equal, so I can consider this as six centimeter, and clearly this as again six centimeter because these two sides are equal. And according to midpoint theorem, if I join these two mid midpoints, so this should be half of this. So if this is six, so clearly its half should be equal to. Three centimeters. Similarly, if this is is equal to six, so clearly this also be equal to half of this, which is three centimeters. And if in triangle this, if two sides are equal, which are three centimeter and three centimeters each, so clearly this triangle should be an isosceles triangle. So this is how we can solve this third question. Thank you.